Hi, this is Luann. Today's theme is fine motor skills. Many of the everyday activities that we do from checking our phone, to eating, to buttoning and zipping our clothes, to brushing our teeth, use fine motor skills. The development of fine motor skills begins with the development of large motor skills like crawling, running, jumping and dancing. Fine motor skills use the small muscles in our hands, our wrists, our fingers, our feet and our toes. These skills can impact things like holding a fork, getting dressed, or using a pencil to write. You can help your child develop these skills when they participate in activities that use those smaller muscles. Playing with Play-Doh, from squeezing, rolling, and pushing on it will help develop their hand muscles. And pinching apart small pieces will help them strengthen their pincer muscles, which are great for when they start writing and using scissors. Picking up and moving around puzzle pieces also help with the pincer grasp. And they also great, are great for problem solving skills because they have to figure out how the piece fits into the puzzle. While I'm all about creativity, let your child color a picture to help with control, help have them work on coloring inside the lines. And who says you can't have a blue dog? Let your child use tongs or tweezers to pick up cotton balls or pom-poms. Letting your child cut with scissors can be scary. There are different kinds of scissors available that fit your child's age and development. These are simple preschool scissors that have a rounded edge on them. Scissors can also improve concentration and eye-hand coordination. In the beginning, just give them pieces of paper to tear and to cut. Move towards cutting around shapes. These shapes, like the butterfly and the fish, are going to be kind of hard for them to cut at the beginning stages of cutting. So you can draw circles around them, which will give them simpler lines to cut. Have your child lay some pasta onto a pipe cleaner, which will be easier for them to use than yarn or string. And any kind of pasta will work great that has a hole in it. These happen to be colored pieces of pasta, which colored pasta is very easy to make. And also when you have colored pasta, you can work on their patterning skills. Whatever activities you use, you will be helping your child develop their fine motor skills. Thanks for joining me today.